from this one. Start the recording. It's all right. <laughs> um, so I'll hand it over to Victor to do the readings. Oh, um, yeah. The year 1960 was the year when we reached the completion level of the growth stage, namely the level at which Adam and Eve fell. From the completion level of the growth stage, it requires seven more years to reach the realm of perfection. This was the first seven-year course. When we reach the standard of perfection, we can, eat, we can enter the realm of God's direct dominion. When I say the word direct, I really mean direct. Thus, we can have direct dominion over the heart realm of life. However, in 1960, the year that our blessing took place, the task of reaching that standard of perfection still remained. I was still in the midst of the realm of the fall, the realm of Satan's dominion that resulted from Adam's first fall, or first Adam's fall, sorry. Nevertheless, a family finally appeared that could destroy the realm of Satan's dominion. <clears throat> then, during that seven-year course, Satan made an all-out attack on this family. However, I fought with Satan, clashed with him, and by paying indemnity, I drove them away and established the four major holy days. God's Day, Children's Day, Day of All Things, and Parents' Day. Reverend Sung Yong Yong Chong Chong Yong. Providence of Completion Stage Resurrection. The error when people are to be resurrected both spiritually and physically through the returning Christ and complete the providence of restoration is called the age of the providence of completion stage resurrection. Christ at the second advent brings, the new, <coughs> brings a new truth with which to fulfill the premises of the Old and New Testaments. It may be called the Completed Testament. Believing in this truth, people are to serve and attend the Lord on the earth, and they may fulfill their responsibility for the providence and be justified before God. Therefore, this error is called the age of justification by attendance. By believing in and serving the Lord and devoting themselves to his work, people in this era are to be fully resurrected both spiritually and physically, becoming divine spirits and living in the kingdom of heaven on earth. When they shed their physical bodies as spirits, they will enter and abide in the kingdom of heaven in heaven, which is the divine spirit level of the spirit world, divine principle. Thank you, Victor, for that very clear and robust reading. Um, and uh, on that note, then, I will invite up our speaker for today. John Kennedy, I want to give a warm welcome. Today, <coughs> I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to show this diagram of the divine principle. I know it might not be so easy, but is it possible to make it easy for so people can see? No, it's too big. <laughs> Now it's difficult to see it. I know I wish I had uh, some highlighter to show you something, but uh, pinpoint something for you. So, but mainly because we're coming to the holy days, and uh, the holy days this year, the three holy days in one, and next Sunday, the 16th. Yet, um, I think some of the things have been happening that we probably didn't have enough time to prepare. For the holy days, and maybe true, truthfully, we don't really understand the value of the holy days. And um, well, I'll be looking at it from a particular, like a special focus today, based on the readings that, that we gave and based on the divine principle as well. And um, as I say, the, the tree, when we had the three holy days this time, which were set up by True Mother to like they're the same. The same day because originally God, God's day was to be the only holy day, and then uh, all when when true parents were blessed, then they initiated different holy days and different um, like parents' day and children's day, day of all things, and it culminated with the establishment of of God's day in 1968. So there was. He, uh, Father says, if you read uh, Chan Sung Yang, and I was reading about preparation for the Holy Days, that they just don't, it didn't happen automatically. God's Day is based on a certain foundation, certain process, and everything had to go in reverse until eventually uh, God's Day was set up. It's, and, in, and in that sense, if you see the diagram there in Divine Principle, it explains that. Um, 
the course of restoration through the history, all the course of restoration, and then it comes to the top of the growth stage where second coming happens. And through Father Metri's bride in 1960, you can see there the diagram, was the top of the growth stage. And yet, um, in the reading this morning, it explains that I, I didn't actually notice that before, to be honest. I was always thinking that Father came on the perfections, like top of the perfection stage. Something has stuck in my mind that, but when I started to look at that again more, but then I realized, yes, that true father had to meet his bride, and then they had to go through the seven years until perfection. And this is what the true father is explaining. It's a seven year course to reach, to go through, to perfect their relationship, their heart, their love for God. And then they come to the top of that uh, completion stage. And in that realm, then they're in the direct dominion of God. That's the realm of direct dominion. And uh, in all the other, all below that, all the history, we see is a growing period. If you say, if you look at it, there's a growing period there on the left hand side, you see the formation growth completion. And also the divine principle, we say that's the in, indirect dominion. Um, I, I don't know, there's probably too much in that diagram, but if you go back into your divine principle book, you'll see that again. And uh, I'd just like to go back a little bit over that there. The indirect dominion is all the periods uh, up to the top of the growth stage until to bother came. And uh, you know, like next next Easter also, the next Sunday is Easter Sunday, so we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Most Christians think of uh, the resurrection is just a one-off thing. You know, Jesus rose from the dead physically. But the real meaning of resurrection is that Jesus and the Holy Spirit became the spiritual true parents. That's there at the top of the, of the uh, formation stage. And then that whole history of Christianity is a 2000 year period but it's centered on Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So they could fulfill the role of spiritual uh, true parents. And that's a remarkable thing in itself, a tremendous um, victory. Also in divine principle, it says that Jesus is a divine spirit. That's how divine principle expresses the value of Jesus. Jesus is a divine spirit. He is one with God. And it does say interesting in divine principle also that um, we don't deny that Jesus isn't God. You know that Christians say, Jesus is God. He said, we don't flatly deny that, but uh, Jesus' value was the value of God. He's the divine spirit. He's, he's a perfected person in that sense as an individual. So he's a divine spirit. So from one point of view, a perfected person is a, a divine spirit. You could say he has grown to the perfection level. But in another state, sense, he's not perfected because he, Jesus, would have to be at the top of the growth stage and meet his bride on the earth. So in that sense, he, that didn't happen for Jesus. And uh, thus, the, the whole experience of Christianity after the resurrection is a spiritual uh, rebirth. I experienced that myself when when I was in London. I had a, a, a rebirth experience through the Holy Spirit. And uh, I didn't really know what the value of the Holy Spirit was really, because in Christianity, they don't differentiate the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit of God. There's no differentiation there. But then later when I heard the divine principle, I realized this, the Holy Spirit is this, uh, feminine spirit, it's the mother spirit, it's the heavenly, heavenly mother spirit. Well, it's a comforting, it's a, it's, it gives you new life, it gives you, it, it helps you to repent and to, to feel reward. That was my experience. And 
it was a very meaningful experience which I had before I came to the divine principle. At least that was my course to to meet to parents. And um, I, and then of course I want to say more about that in the sense how valuable Jesus sacrifice and the resurrection and all of that. We should never, we cannot know, we can never devalue that, you know, or think less of it, um, because it's a tremendous victory in itself. But the problem is that Christianity never could could uh, go to the next stage, which is to accept uh, the true Father, and then to go to through the blessing, particularly. This is the main point that once true father and true mother, they they reach this the top of the the completion stage. Now they're in the direct dominion of God's love, and um, they they give us the blessing. Um, I just want to say that in the sense that that you might think that our father is perfected already. No, but true father says clearly. Father needed to go through that before he met your mother. He does, he's not perfected in the, in the realm of heart of love. You, see, you need a counterpart. You need a uh, he needed to, to meet your mother in order to grow together through the seven year course until they reach the perfection level of the heart. And I think sometimes we don't realize how important that is. And then on that basis, true father says he could establish God's day. For the first time, he could establish God's foothold on the earth. It's nothing to do with Satan. And there's God has a direct dominion over this world, centering on the perfection of true parents, on the perfection of their heart and love. The thing that I read about father was describing uh, his relationship with mother and how they came through this period of seven years. He said, well, true mother um, is 100% trustworthy. He, he, he had somebody like that and through their experiences and through the difficulties of those times and the seven years was supposed to be very uh, traumatic or a lot of persecution, a lot of internal trials and tribulations. True mother herself had to go through her own course of uh, perfecting her her heart and perfecting her relationship with uh, true father. At least to that level, at the top of the at the end of that seven year course, they are perfected true parents. But it didn't even stop there because we know that true father and true mother continue to perfect their relationship because I I. I think I heard recently that uh, that father says, I think very close before he passed away, that there should be no there should be no distance between them. They should they should be like one, that uh, one in the heart, one in the mind, one in the body. And um, you know that's that's something that a lot of people miss even today because they they think uh, they think father and mother are separate and that you know, father did all of this and he did all this restoration and did all these conditions and that mother was uh, like a shadow in the background. <clears throat> and uh, she just was like a loyal supporter, uh, very obedient. But mother had to make a conscious decision all the time to use her own, you know, intuition, her own spirituality, her own foundation to to make a decision you know if you if you know what it is to make unity you can't just it doesn't happen automatically you're always in a kind of case of or you consciously or either you have to consciously overcome situations consciously um make a relationship make it perfect and i think that's what we've been discovering even as a husband and wife that you know that you have to consciously work in it all the time, and you, you can't you can't think that it's perfect. You know that okay, I got the blessing and everything is good and it's, everything is perfect. Usually, people have a lot of things to work on in order to 
perfect that love. Because I think because we're following an example, we saw the example in true parents themselves. We saw their tremendously unity and their with the unity for a higher purpose. I don't know if you ever noticed it, but if you were, if you observe them, their love was, wasn't just words, it was just their whole demeanor, their expression, their, their, and their ability to do public work as well with, you know, and be united, because I think it's very difficult to do a public mission and to be united as a couple. You know, that sense, it's more difficult to be that united that you don't allow the frustrations and all the different things that come up to make a distance. That's just from the point of view that to, to parents, blessing was the starting point for everything and their relationship of unity. And the fact that they could establish this perfected relationship, then we have God's day. And then we, your mother now is basically saying that all those three holy days should be, can be one, but the most important one is Heavenly Parents Day, as your mother established that, that now God's Day becomes Heavenly Parents Day. But I just wanted to say this today in the sense that um, there is tremendous value in these holy days, and we can, we should be preparing for them as well spiritually, because you need to have a kind of a heart of a longing or, or appreciation and sort of joyfulness. At the same time, appreciating that they didn't just come out of the thin air, you know, that there was a, a long foundation of the, of the, of, you know, of, the, of the human history or the restoration history. And also, two mother is following the same pattern even to accomplish things, you know, there's a there was a formula course set up throughout the history. I don't want to go into the details, but if you study the divine principle, there's the, the, the course of Jacob, of Moses, and, and Jesus, and there's all the lessons you can learn from these courses. And um, they are still to be applied to today, even though we're standing in a different foundation because we're in the merge of the age, we can, we can appreciate that things move much more smoothly or a, um, in the direct dominion, God has a foothold in the, to influence, you know, it's different to the past. Because your parents are on the earth, and they have achieved the victory, the, the perfection level, then God has a, a foothold to influence. You know, lots of things happening in the world because all humanity is benefiting from from this victorious foundation and um, from two parents uh, victorious foundation. We don't know exactly how how God can influence it. I was thinking about it yesterday when I was driving along. Think, well, how does God directly interfere? But using the past we thought God's direct interference was like if you said the Old Testament when the, uh, the miracle occurred when they were crossing the Jordan River, then God separated the waters. Is like, and even today, people would think, oh, if a miraculous thing happens and God will use his power, but God is not doing that because it's based on his unfolding of his word, as we see in the diagram there, it's all the history is the unfolding of his word and the, the substantiation of his word in practice. And it's all to do eventually, it's all to do with love. Uh, God's heart is uh, manifesting itself to, to parents and therefore the, uh, the the interference we can't maybe we don't always see it you know how how is God affecting people but sometimes I think it's because um, people are appreciating more even today you know when it comes to wars they're more they're being touched to say that wars is, is, is not the answer and more people are uniting at that level, um, transcending nationalities and races and so forth. There are more international couples and uh, that's becoming much more normal nowadays. The fact that there are international couples and relationships are, even I, I saw something about uh, 
Malaysia for the first time, a Catholic and a Muslim were intermarried and uh, it caused a big stir in the society because uh, the Muslims were saying this is completely against the Muslim faith. But they seem to be breaking through to open up that society to the you know, interfaith relationship. We take it for granted because we pioneered this course a long time before other people. We pioneer these uh, international marriages. But we we know of a time even in Ireland where international couples weren't so common. You know, your our children went to school and sometimes they felt isolated because of the um, Catholicism and because of the um, not so many other nationalities in fact, not so many mixed children, you know, but uh, that's just another point that I want to say. Um, really, I just felt that uh, it's important to prepare for the Holy Days, and uh, I don't know how we celebrate, but I remember in the past we had, we used to have a little bit more celebration for our Holy Days, to be honest. Um, I think we should revise something, to be honest, if we want to really make it a tradition. Because if you don't have a tradition, you're going to have to replace the traditions then with something else. So let's think about, I know if everybody's doing their best for their children or their grandchildren for the third generation. But I'm sorry to say, I don't think it's enough just to, to do it on the family level. I think we should have a community, but, it's, but I know it takes investment. You did it before we had we had, like on God's day, because it happened on the 1st of January, we would have a, uh, some kind of competition or we'd have singing, we'd have, you know, you'd have huge and all kinds of games, you know. I don't know, this, that's, it. that's very important for the community, I think, to, to have some celebrations together. And I really think that we should, at least in the future, truly find a way, because I, I think, you know, you, you can ask your children, Stay home from school one day. I, I might be too uh, to say, say that to obviously now, but I think you can. If you really thought something was valuable, you'd say, Well, we have a special day. Why can't we do that? Sure. Then we have all kinds of national days, you know, in the country, you know, that we have holidays and so forth. And people will take time out for those things. I wish it would be the case because I really think we need to re resurrect our traditions, our heavenly traditions. Because if you don't have them, possibly it is difficult for your for, for the future. You know, we'll probably end up being very family centered, but how to keep the community? As the Ibn Father said very clearly, you've got to, you have to, you should have these days uh, as an individual, as a family as a community, and even you should be inviting your, your you know, citizens of your nation, because these are the most precious and holy days. Uh, therefore, he says, it's, he says, it's quite sad if they're only even for ourselves, because they're historical, historical value, historical value of true parents, blood, sweat, and tears. I can't really convey to you really the, what I feel even because I'm in quite poor communication. But the thing is, I just feel that having reading the 100K, uh, reading Divine Principle, because I've read Divine Principle again for, for the last 40 days, and I felt it's all connected. You know, we really need to connect the dots again and realize um, where it's all connected. And, all that they're all part of our traditions. Of course, eventually, every day should be God's day. You know, like from the from the point of view of the creation of of heavenly parents, which it was, ah, all my children will celebrate together. We we should we will celebrate together. We will be happy. We will be liberated together, and thus, that from that original viewpoint, we would be. You know, we, were, we wouldn't have the holy days. It didn't need to be there as such. But I don't think that's going to happen for a long time that we can say, okay, we don't need those things because we're already reminded of, of everything 
about the heavenly world and about the original world. And we're living in the direct dominion of God's law because we're not actually there yet. You know, we're, we're still in the process to, to come into the direct dominion of God's love, not only as a blessed couple, blessed families, but eventually it should be the nation itself has to come into this direct dominion. Um, for sure, we can, only, we can only feel it through our true parents what the direct dominion is, because there's no, there is no example really in the society, in the nation, you know, whatever we we're trying to get there, but there isn't really, it's not there until thousands and millions of people are accepting true parents' guidance. You know, like recently, you know, Korea, the new um, person become the president, Mr. Yoon, I think he means, but uh, they're trying to meet uh, him. I think there's 60 days before he's actually officially inaugurated and from other ones to once Dr. Yun to meet him, you know, because two mothers should actually directly interfere or intervene in in their life on the politics of Korea. It doesn't mean she's going to be, you know, doing the work on the ground, but they should they should, they should listen to her, you know. We also need that in Europe. Like we've got to get to the point where even Mr. Putin or, or anybody or Zelensky can listen to to two parents or listen to one of their representatives. Yeah. Um, that's basically the message today. And um, to mother herself, it's starting sixty months. Uh, in fact, on the list, she's doing sixty months devotional period for from from God's day. I don't know from yeah. Anyway, she's doing it for sixty months until the end of this seven year course, basically. It's like uh, she wants to do continuous uh, Tang Sang and devotion. So let's do our part. Even you know, everything is valuable, everything is precious, every every action we do, every every effort we make to keep in alignment with uh, having parents and true parents, then I think we're going in the right direction then. So let's encourage each other and uh, make even better um, foundations for for ourselves and for everybody else. Just to finish with that. Sorry for such a holiday should be a world liberal of the holiday and uh, even not the national level. I pray that the breaks will come in the South Korea and the South Korea will come time to unification movement as a uh, national religion and uh, become part of the holy community and the part of the Shibuya uh, Unification North and South Korea to come to together as a restored other nation and become a center of the group nation and standard of the Chowin group can be truly a preparation of year 2000 years and the sacrifice of two parents and become an uh, original other nation can be uh, very clearly shown and can we parent, we cannot see how much progress in progress and we are talk, talking about and thinking about and trying to do own portion of responsibility. I pray that the progress in the central nation and unity in between uh, Korea, Japan, Korea and then, uh, America and unity of the every type as we mentioned and then become able to overcome this uh, painful unity and uh, become seven years close to become truly targeting for 60th anniversary of the God's day through mother dreaming to bring a most happy moment of the uh, celebration. So please let uh, we can gradually prepare ourselves to really uh, understand your heart and you are become truly want to direct dominion. It's not uh, like a suffering cause originally, it's uh, truly a natural thing for us. 
to be direct dominion, and you want to live in uh, as a, uh, our daily life to be with you, our individual, couple, family, and the joy, and society, and nation. All we just we can natural about and precious about individuals and the unique you are uh, command us. Unlimited, unique individual to his body become reflecting your happiness and you be enjoyed to really uh, among us, living with the in and among us. And that kind of world always your heart is just a center on love. That is just uh, impossible to need to understand until now, but that because of the true parent victory, gradually we are closer and closer to become those dream from the end. Every day, please guide our everyday life and our mind, our um, action to be born carefully, prepare God's day because of the special day and the, and honestly depend for my busy mind with uh, 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 some, um, what you call, uh, skipping uh, my focus to to that particular holiday because once we are only from please forgive us and then uh, please help us to truly uh, make you happy and make your parents happy and both in the name type and to bless the family. Thank you very much, John. Um, and uh, maybe I'll say it after the song. Uh, we'll do our closing song. Let's stop the share. Different song, it. Uh, what I want to say about the holy uh, days is I remember when I was young, my dad woke me up at like 5 a.m. and I was driving to the sleep. Uh, and it'd be like the whole floor would be a white cloth, right? Uh -huh. And it'd be full of all the members. But it is much harder from a practical point when it's not on the first of the year. Right? I think it is true that that took a, made it very different for the Western countries because obviously in Korea it was still on holy day. Mm -hmm. It was still like, um, it was still a day off and people with their families, so it was kind of, I think, easy to transition for them. Uh, so we have to think about how we can do that here. Um, but I, I do think we need to, especially now that they've been combined, yeah. I think it does give us the opportunity. Most likely that will be when the blessing is every year as well. Oh, we can try to make it um, a bigger thing somehow. Um, so it takes, a lot of work, man. It takes some preparation, yeah. but maybe we can kind of decide this year to start to work for next year. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But uh, the final song there, uh, he has called me. I'm uh, just trying out a few new holy songs. So uh, let's close today's service with this one.
for this Saturday uh, for a few different reasons. One, Victoria and Mie will be away. Uh, I think also the McManuses will be away. Um, and other practicalities. I think it was impractical to have a mass. <laughs> um, not going to No, no, sorry. I don't want to say that. I just, I've been struggling with it, right? Yeah. You know, before the service, right? How should we do this? Because so, okay. yeah, it is a big event and stuff. But also, even the fact that people will be up, you know, 2, 3, 4 a.m., trying to watch the lesson, the activities and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think it's this year, I think it, we just have to do it at home. But I think it's an opportunity for everyone to do it at home. We can do a nice, you know, Zoom one like we've been doing. But um, I do think it's a good idea for next year to really think about how to make it a big community event. Right? And, you know, I have no problem taking the kids out of school. My dad always uh, called the school in on all the church holy days mm -hmm. and said, uh, you know, it's a religious holy day, so my kids aren't going to school. <laughs> so we always got to stay home. Uh, the dumb day. So, uh, uh, so yeah, let's let's think about that in the next membership meeting, make a plan or something. Um, and but yeah, it's a it's quite a big day, all things considered. And uh, I think it'll be exciting to uh, congratulate Brenda. Who's back? <laughs> Is he already over there? Or? Mark. Is he already over there? Or he's no, no, connected? he's just, he's just afraid he's going to get cold. Oh yeah, yeah, smart man, smart man. <laughs> Better make sure you don't take it back to him. Hi, this is Ruby. Ruby go back to Russia then. He's going to go back to Russia with her for a couple of days. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Oh, nice. it was sent to the front of. What's her name again? Because Valeria. Valeria. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm sure we're also looking forward to whenever she gets the chance to come here as well. She's over here as well. Not before. Yeah. Did, she, did she hide away from us? No, she's in the center as well. She met Rory and... Okay, okay, you know, cool. She met some of the guys. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. I guess with COVID, people were just kind of popping yeah. in out of the center. So yeah. hopefully things get back to normal. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, those, those are kind of the major announcements. You know the donation? Yes. In my Falcon's letter? Yes. Well, I had the, oh, he yeah, had those extra suggestions. About, like, yeah. tribal donation and the, like... It, it, like if I think it's for the tribe. Who does that cover? Does that mean like? Yeah, so I think he was implying um, you kind of split it a bit if it's tough, right? So you could have like parents. That's why I was saying three generation could do it together. So if you had like the parents and then the kids and the grandkids, that could be one. So we can all share group. the three hundred. Well, 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 <laughs> I guess we don't have a tribe yet, do we? Yeah, no tribe would be if. I'd say, like, let's see, uh, two or three kids side, that are yeah. blessed with kids, then you get to spend it, right? <laughs> yeah, so the girls spend it, 500 instead of 300. Tribe was 500. Okay. That was just, yeah, you know, that was Michael one? trying to help. What was his 300 for? 300 was uh, three generation family. Uh, yeah. So you're saying, like, you know, the parents <laughs> and the kids <laughs> have grandkids that could split it, maybe. Figure out the one kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think he I think he was just trying to make, you know, he's trying to give suggestions about how to kind of tell So we just stick with the two Oh, we can we can uh, talk about it over Easter. <laughs> but he also we said we should round it up to pay euro those, you know, like you said, 210 euro. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean that's I mean 295 euro, but oh, I think sorry. he said I must have missed that. Yeah. But yeah, look, as with all things donation. It's yeah. it's what you can offer and the right card that you offer with it. I mean, I usually do just give the euro amount, right? Yeah. Because it's it's just it's the symbolic amount in euros and where yeah. euros, but like it's it's what people you know can really give and, and the heart of giving, right? And um, you know, we know that those go to the money goes into that pot for Korea to do the performances and you know the the blessing program that's there live streaming but also for you know there's a leaders meeting right after this the vip events and stuff so i mean it's kind of it, it's the same every year it's become kind of standard there's two events a year so you know people can even kind of plan for it or budget for it 
to put. Um, yeah, it's it's always like with all things like you want to support the provinces, right? The international students outside our own Um okay, so I think that's it for announcements. Um so thank you everyone on Zoom who was able to attend today. Sorry about switching the link last minute. I'm mm -hmm. glad people found it and were able to attend. <laughs> That link should work from now on. Um, I think in the future, I think what happened is our big event for the Sunwa, we were sharing the same link. Mm -hmm. So if those links ever end up in like a public place, yeah. they can kind of get shared around and people can, I don't know what they do with it because they don't even use it. They just like pop it out. Mm -hmm. But um, I was getting like spammed every 30 minutes, someone was mm -hmm. joining. So in the future, if the link's ever gonna go in a public place, I, I can make a new link, not use our link, right? And that'll, that'll hopefully prevent that from happening. So this link will just be for the service and just for our church community events, bigger events. Um, but that was the reason. Just so um, all right, I think Rose has some nice lunch downstairs. So everyone can head on downstairs. Sorry, people on Zoom, but hopefully that can incentivize you to come into this. <laughs> but thank you, everyone. Have a great week. All the fantastic was the Zoom on the um, I don't know if the son of all was reported. Um, I think uh, some, some of the testimonies were reported, but I actually call them for that, and I have to send them some uh, that are on my phone. But um, I, don't, I don't know if the son was reported. I don't think it was actually. Some of the only did see when you open a flower with a was it not that Zoom connected in the beginning part? There should have been. Maybe they came late or something. Um, all right. So thank you, everyone. So next week, celebrate you know, Easter at home with your family, the holy days at home. Um, and we'll be back in two weeks' time. All right. Thanks, everyone.